Eliza! Stay, stay away! <laughs> Eliza! Wish I could have some fun with you, my boss. Well, bravo. Uh, Mr. Montagnard, will you return to the office and await further orders? Sir. Well done, Runner. Well done, Guardian. Guardian? Oh, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to know who your Guardian is. Let me be the first to introduce him. Runner? Guardian? Guardian? Oh, I'm sure you know Runner. What does he say? I'm sorry, Mr. You weren't supposed to find out this way. Oh, I can... I can see his mind unraveling right before my eyes. See, right now he's realizing that the woman he loved was actually planted into his life right from the beginning. Shut your mouth. And now he's making the connection that you have loved past runners. So he's just not so special. I said, shut your mouth, Eliza. Here's one for you, Ryan. How do you suppose that I knew where to find you the other night when I knocked you on your ass? Which, by the way, was just my way of saying. Brendan, the friendly gatherer, one third of the Anusians. He betrayed you for love. So, there you are, alone in the gambit. Except for that twit Phoebe, but I'm sure she'll be coming around to my way of thinking rather shortly. I'm so sorry, Stairs. I was forbidden to tell you who I really was, but I swear everything that I said. I'm so sorry, but I have to do this. Well, interesting move, Guardian. Will cost you your life. It's not true. We'll be going to other side and we'll be judged by the Elder Gathering. What makes you think that I'm going to other side? Because I'm better than you. You know it. It is gonna take more than that to finish me, my dear. I'm through playing around. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Bye.
Stairs, stairs. Stairs, you have to listen to me. I only have a few moments left. Was it true? What he said, was stairs. it true? But I told you the truth, too. Stairs, I love you so much. <coughs> They're calling me. Stairs, you must complete the gamut. The fate of first sight rests in your success. They can't take you, can't take you from me, too. <coughs> Uh, I don't know why, but the Phoenix nobility is on their way to first sight and they want to reveal themselves to the world. <laughs> you must stop them. The lover is in the church on Carter Street. If she will do you no harm, I've seen to that. Oh no, what do I do? Uh, How? I How? I, you'll find a way. I trust you. I believe in you more than anything I've ever believed in in my entire life. Here, take these. Inside this pouch of pomegranate seeds, they. Uh, I love you. We have learned of your loss. Please accept our apologies. My name is Heloise. I've been expecting you. Please, sit. You are in no harm here. I can sense that you find it odd to find me here. I guess I didn't think that someone who's been alive since before religion began would be heading up a church. Fair observation. However, I suppose it depends on how one defines religion. A very wise man once wrote, to be alive necessitates an inclination towards religion because it is a- Human instinct. Carl Jung. Very good. And I can sense that you were that very wise man. Again, very good. I see that you will not need my extended lecture, and not just because I've been informed that you are illuminated. What do you want from me? Just to listen, nothing more. I have held the post of lover for many centuries, and when we are done here, I shall return to the other side and not seek re-election. My duties here on first side are done. I only wish to help. You are an illuminated. In the history of the Gambit, there have only been two others like you. Their success in running the Gambit ushered in a new phase of human consciousness, bringing the masses closer to a greater understanding of the workings of the universe. But I don't want this responsibility. I want my life back. I want Eliza back. You have always known that this is the life you were meant to live. That is your conflict. And I'm sorry to say this, but Eliza is gone. I know that it is difficult for you to understand, but this is the way it has been for me. <laughs> First you say you're sorry, and then you say to suck it up. How the hell do you expect me to keep my mind together, to keep my sanity? Do you honestly think you have any idea what the hell I'm going through? I do have some idea of what you're going through because I was once in a situation very similar to yours. I was the first runner of the Gambit. It was, in the way you measure time, over 5,000 years ago. In that lifetime, I was a happy father of five. My partner and I loved each other very much. 
Then, one day, I was approached by someone who told me that I must go on a quest that would determine the entire future of the human species. Rightly or wrongly, I had a choice to make. My family would die, or I could leave them and walk the path that you now find yourself on. So, now you have a choice to make. Will you give up, or will you move forward? I swear, it was the witches! 